Hey everybody, quick little handheld uh, vlog, uh, something I got on my brain that I kind of want to talk about for a quick little bit. Um, so I'm sure everybody is fully aware of a brief little controversy that happened uh, on Rooster Teeth between Jeff Gersman uh, pertaining to Fallout 4 and uh, them bitching and moaning about how like he gave it a low score and he's not really a journalist, he's just trying to get attention. N -n 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 -n. You know, and there are, there are a lot of people split, you know, especially especially when these sort of things happen or get brought up, and it's, it's so, it's so exaggerated, and it's so ridiculous, especially how that argument started, about how people who rate games low, I mean, they gave it a 70 when really it deserves a 90. A 70 is low? To you? I mean, a 70 is still good. I mean, it's above average. And, you know, from everything I've heard about a lot of the problems going on with Fallout 4, not having played it yet because I just don't have the money to sling out $60 for a new game. Um, or really for a lot of games, really. And, I mean... From all the problems that I've heard, and, and and what's so funny is that when the game first came out, there were so many people who were harping on the problems and then exaggerating on the problems. I have seen and heard that a lot of the problems are pretty game-affecting, where they do stop or slow down the game in general, and these are things that should not be a problem, like just walking up to a computer terminal and activating it and having to wait for the game for your character model to move into proper position and then activate the terminal. Yeah, that's weird and that's buggy and it's stupid. That's the sort of thing that should not be a problem. And again, this is Bethesda. You know, this is something that, from what I understand, has always been a problem with Bethesda. Now, I'm happy that I haven't experienced anything major. I mean, when I did, it was during Skyrim. And I've logged about that before, but I find this whole thing just so ridiculously stupid. How, and I like Rooster Teeth. I do. I mean, I I originally came upon them like a little while after they first started just doing Red versus Blue. How they started out small and then they became this huge ginormous company doing Let's Plays and just doing all sorts of different series and having just this, this, this ginormous presence on YouTube and just all over the internet. You know, like, oh, I was there when I first started, bruh. And, um, you know, now this, it's, well, there's that and there's a lot of other things that they do that really, that really do bother me. Uh, you know, it's like, um, it's a lot like if you support an artist or anything like that who has this particular belief system, right? Like, for example, I used to be a fan of Carlos Mencia. I know, I know, I know, don't start throwing your stones yet. But, you know, I liked him because he felt like he had something honest to say. You know, like, he was a little bit of Dave Chappelle and a little bit of Bill Hicks in there, just in terms of that philosophy that he had. Then he did a beer commercial, which just made me go, Wow, I have absolutely no respect for you now, you fucking whore. Because that's all he is and everything that he said and everything he, that he believed I knew was bullshit because he was just doing it for the money you know and to be perfectly honest that's kinda what Rooster Teeth has become I mean they do still have an opinion but when it comes to those things you know like Microsoft that or, or, or really any company where they do shady things or they do things that 
not everybody likes, but somebody still supports it blindly without actually talking about the problems or even bringing up the problems or the things that nobody likes because they're being paid by that company. You know, and, you know, and that's the sort of thing that really bothers me because I am the sort of person who I do have that principle where I'm not going to, you know, do or say something positively just because somebody wants to give me money. No, no. And I mean, it's not like anybody's actually offering or anything like that. You know, it's that base of integrity. And of course, when when the people of uh, uh, of the Patch podcast, I believe it was, who was making this ridiculous argument against Jeff Gersman and about claiming how people were rating it low when they were actually giving it perfectly fair scores. And they were wearing Pip Boys on their wrist from, from Bethesda. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, but man, it's just... It's just ridiculous. And... And again, I mean, it all kind of comes back to that thing of, uh, of the argument of, you know, real gaming journalists and be... Uh, well, I don't even know if I should go there, but, you know, journalists need to have integrity. They need to. Things need to be separate. Companies should not be involved with someone else's opinion. That's exactly how it should be. Because the second that there is any involvement, there is just immediately going to be so many people who are going to be just looking at you crooked and saying like, well, how do we know that your opinion is actually valid when we know that you were paid by this company, your website is owned by this company, and you know, and you got splash pages of you know the game poster all over your website, and you're sucking the game's balls. It's a lot like when uh, a couple of years ago, when somebody from IGN, I think it was, gave Aliens Colonial Marines a high score and didn't even mention any of the problems with it. And there were so many people online uh, who were calling him a liar, calling him a whore, and all this, because at the same time, the website also had a gigantic poster of Aliens Colonial Marines on the website. So, you know, it's just ridiculous. It is. And it comes back down to that argument of <sighs> things need to be separate for a reason. If you're going to give an, an opinion on something, it needs to be your own opinion. It cannot be influenced by another company. And it shouldn't. That is wrong. And if your opinion is being influenced by another company, you need to say right away, by the way, this review or whatever it is, is sponsored by this company, so you're going to need to take my opinion with a bit of grain of salt. It's just, it's upsetting and it's... Frankly, it's kind of disgusting. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. This has been me ranting about people on the internet. But it's important. It is. And I just realized that the camera's been zoomed way, way too close, and I apologize if you've been looking too closely at my ugly mug as it is. So it's just... It's so fucking ridiculous, and... This shit needs to die. It does. And and especially considering the fact that, like, really, you felt the need to call out this other person uh, who's been doing this shit probably longer than you have and probably better than you ever will and just giving an honest opinion? Really? Go fuck yourself. All right. See you next time, people.